Hi everyone, Mike and Sonia here from Microsoft. We are hey. here today to show you a deep dive on one of our most favorite tools, the Immersive Reader. It's a free app that's included in free Office 365 for Education as well as Minecraft Education Edition and Flipgrid. So Mike, tell us a little bit about it before we get into the demo. Yeah, so what we did with the Immersive Reader was we took the latest science and research around reading and we focused inclusively originally on dyslexia. But our hypothesis was that if we really focus around these key techniques, this will likely help all readers with their reading abilities. And so we've iterated over the last couple of years and now it's built in across our entire platform and it's free. I'm so excited. Yeah. So let's dive in, Mike, and why don't you show us Let's start with, I don't know, Word? Let's do it. All right, Mike, show us what this Immersive Reader is all about. Okay. Well, I'm signed in to office.com. Again, all the free web apps in Office 365 are here. And I'm going to go into the most maybe well-known of them all, which is Microsoft Word. So, I think every teacher definitely uses Word. Yeah. So I'm opening up Word here in the browser. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the View tab in Word. And you're going to see this button called Immersive Reader. And we try to put this Immersive Reader on the View tab at as many apps as you can. So it's always easy to find whether you're in OneNote or other apps. So I'm going to launch the Immersive Reader and start talking through what you're going to see. Now, first off, we've reduced all the distractions. We've simplified the user experience to help you focus on the content. And the first thing I'm going to do is there's a play button down at the bottom. When I click play, the study of Earth's landforms is called physical geography. So we have built in text to speech, word and line highlighting right there, part of word. And in addition, I can change the voice speed. I can make it faster or slower. I can also change male or female voices. Now, text to speech isn't radically new, but it is now built in, mainstream, non stigmatizing and free. That's amazing. Like I think of all the students that are those emerging readers that haven't been able to access the text themselves and mm -hmm. the teacher has to run around and read to them or they just sit there and hope nobody notices. And now these students have a way of having the text read to them no matter what the text is. That's incredible. Yeah. And that's right there in Word. So the same as everyone else. So I'm going to go in the upper right and click on the AA for text preferences. So first off, we know from research there's something called visual crowding. And many people experience visual crowding. It can make it harder to read and to focus. And we also know from research that for some people, if I increase the spacing, which reduces visual crowding, that can really help out. So with a single click, I've increased the line spacing, letter spacing, and word spacing. I can also choose from a few different fonts, and one of them is Comic Sans. Now, there's some people out there who mock Comic Sans. It turns out that Comic Sans was designed for younger readers. The way that the A's are formed, the G's are formed, it's the way that many kids are taught to write. So that makes nice. total sense. I think, you know, when students are learning to write, that's very similar to the way you see those uh, early, te the teachers of early learners uh, teaching their students to write. Exactly. Now, a lot of people also have challenges with just that white background for reading. And so these color themes are really tuned for accessibility. And so this allows a student to personalize that background really easily with just a simple click. And then also the other thing we know is that some students like to have, I'm going to scroll the text size in the upper right, see how it's getting much bigger. So think about short line mode. Many people with dyslexia might prefer short line mode. This could be sight word practice. It might be for English language learners. It could be for someone with vision impairments. Again, all personalized. Yeah, I just, you said sight words and that made me think like a teacher could easily create a list of sight words mm -hmm. that the students could use immersive reader to open it in here and there you go. Exactly and many teachers are doing that. Now I'm going to go to grammar options in the middle tab. So I know that Sonia you've probably done this before. There's a lot of teachers out there teaching syllables to students. It could be early readers, it could be non-native speakers, it might be a foreign language and they might clap their hands and go syllables. Yes, I totally remember that from elementary school. <laughs> exactly. And so now think about using our cloud technologies here. I can turn on syllables with a single click and you can see all the words are broken into syllables. So a student can personalize and start to do that on his or her own. I can also highlight different parts of speech. So I click on nouns and it highlights them in purple. I click on verbs. I click on adjectives. And, you know, Sonia and I are always saying the adverb doesn't get enough respect in it's this true, world. It's true. It's not. It doesn't. And so I can turn on adverbs 
and highlight those. Now you might say, well, hey, I have students that are colorblind, for example. We've added show labels. I turn that on and now you can see those visual distinctions above. I'm going to turn off some of these. See how it highlights right there so I can. That's incredible. I, again, I just love, again, how inclusive this is for all different learning styles, all different disabilities, you name it. This is a tool that can help 100% of students. Yeah. And some educators have told us from feedback, hey, you know, I teach with a book where nouns are taught with blue. So I can customize the colors really easily and just change that color just with a single click. So it makes it easy for students to personalize so they're less stigmatized. Educators get all this time back. Educators' time, students' personalization. It's a really nice combination. Now, the last set of things we're going to move on to, and I'm going to change my background to blue in this one. I'm going to go here. And now, Sonia, have you heard of the old reading rulers that many educators use? Absolutely. For sure, every early learning student had a ruler or sometimes even a, I want to say, a piece of paper with a square or rectangle cut yep. out of it that they could move over the page. And some teachers would spend 99 cents on Amazon yes. to buy their own reading rulers. Yes. We wanted to make that digital. So with line focus, I'm just going to click on line focus right here. And you can see I've got my own reading ruler and I can read out loud. Still. Geography. Landforms can be mountains and valleys. I can scroll it with the up and down arrows on the right or left. And if I want, I can choose three lines or five lines. So it's really easy to personalize. We've had stories of students with cerebral palsy who use this to help focus a little bit better. It might be ADHD. We have students in middle school who had a concussion, and I had, their educator told me they couldn't read unless they had the line focus turned on for those oh six gosh. weeks. So it's a wow. temporary impairment, and this can help with that. Now, the next capability is one of our most popular recently, and it is the picture dictionary. So I'm going to click on a word here, and I get a picture, and Earth. I can read that loud. Earth. That's incredible. Earth. Mountains. Mountains. Again, for a student that's learned most of the words, and maybe there's one or two words that mm -hmm. they aren't quite sure, or they can't sound it out, they're struggling to sound it out, uh, there it is done for them. That's incredible. Yeah, and it's great to be able to Rivers. hear it. Rivers. I can see the picture, I can listen, maybe I turn on syllables, so I got lots of different ways to process that text. And one of the last things I'll show that's also great, not only for early learning students or students with dyslexia, also think about Translation and English language learners. So and this is my most favorite thing mm -hmm. just because as a former middle school teacher, I had students that came in every year that spoke zero English or some English or anywhere in between. And I was teaching math and I had everything available in PDF form that they could use immersive reader on had it existed back then. Mm -hmm. um, and this is this is what just gets me so excited as a former teacher. Yeah, and we have over 60 languages we can translate to and over 45 for read aloud. So in this case, I've chosen Spanish and I've turned it on just for by word. So we're going to go back to Earth and now I've got Earth or Spanish. Tierra. Earth. Tierra. And it switches the read aloud voice in real time. So that is by word. But now, and I'm going to change the fonts, we'll turn on syllables and nouns and adjectives, and we're going to go back to the translate, which is under reading preferences, and we're going to translate the entire document. Now you'll see what happens is everything just translated. The nouns, verbs, syllables, the entire document, and I'll hit read aloud. El estudio de las formas terrestres de la tierra se llama geografía. Now that's a little too fast for me, Sonia. So uh -huh. I'm going to turn the speed down just a little bit. And we'll slow it down. Geografía física. Las formas de That's tierra amazing. Puede... Again, those students that haven't learned English yet or they're learning English now have access to social studies, to math, to science, to whatever course they're taking, whatever content they're learning in their own language. And like you said, it will translate the text in over 60 languages mm -hmm. and over 40 languages it reads it back. Yeah. And at the top here with this original in Spanish, I can go to the original document and I can flip back to the Spanish and everything swaps in real time. There's nothing in the world today that does this right here. And as we kind of have talked before, this is all free. I was about to say that. <laughs> I was about to say, but wait, it's free. Yep. And it's just built right into Word Online. And it's also built into many other places as well. For example, it's built into OneNote Online. It's built into OneNote Windows 10. It's on the Mac. It's on iPad. It's in Teams. And it's I think in Flipgrid. We're going to have a chart at the end of this demo that shows you 
all of the places you can find this tool, which is going to blow your mind again. Absolutely. Okay, so now what we're going to do is switch over to the OneNote Windows 10 app to show another really cool scenario of Immersive Reader. So I'm going to pull up OneNote for Windows 10, which is free, yes, of course. Yes, free. It's also in the web as well, so it works on any device. And what I've done here, there's a lot of educators who need to get content into another place to use the Immersive Reader because it's not always digital, right? Correct. So like I know when I was teaching, all of my student textbooks were available in PDF form as well. Mm -hmm. So with OneNote, you can print any PDF to OneNote. You can take a picture with Office Lens. Like I've taken a picture of a book here and sent from Office Lens directly into OneNote. I can do all sorts of things about capturing that content and putting it into OneNote. So why is this great in OneNote? because we run optical character recognition, OCR, automatically. So I'm gonna to go to the View tab again and hit that same immersive reader button, and what you're gonna see is it's all converted and accessible, and I can even read it out loud. It's progress. progress. It's, it's head, head revolving, revolving on its on long, long neck. And not only can I access it with all those same features, you know, we're gonna do here, Sonia, we're gonna translate this whole page into Spanish. Let's do that. Wow. So there we go. Again, that idea that all of this content that students have in the classroom, paper content, PDF, you name it, suddenly becomes fully accessible. Yeah. Universal access of content right here. Yeah. So here we go. Let's play. Su progreso. Su cabeza girando en su largo. If I want to switch back to the original, it's the same thing. So that is just built in, part of OneNote, available right now, and anyone can use it. Now, Sonny, we're going to go next. The final OneNote little thing we're going to show is one of your favorites is math. That's right. And we want to make math fully accessible, don't we? It was absolutely. Like math, I think, was one of the most difficult things for my students uh, that in terms of like accessibility. Yeah. So. so what I've got here is an equation I've written in OneNote because OneNote supports digital ink. You could type it out as well, so you don't have to use ink, but we like to use ink here on the OneNote team. Yes. So on the draw tab, I'm gonna hit the math button. And it's gonna convert that equation 5x squared plus 3x minus 7 equals zero. And I'm gonna select an action, and I'm gonna choose solve for x. And not only does it solve it, which is great, I'm gonna show the steps for that equation. And for me, I'm gonna interrupt here because I just have to say this is my biggest love <laughs> as someone that tried to teach equations to students when they went home. So often, nobody at home could help them solve equations, and they'd go home and try one, get stuck. Now with this piece, um, not only do they have a guide on the side, they've, they have AI and OneNote to help them learn how to do the steps. But yeah, so I'm going to say steps for completing the square, and it actually maps out all of the steps. And the bonus here for inclusion is if I can't, if I've got visual crowding or maybe dyslexia and having a lot of words and numbers mixed together might be a little overwhelming, I can click my friend the immersive reader button right there, and the entire thing, maybe I have ADHD and I need a little extra focus. And this will read out anything, including equations, right out loud. So if I want to read out that equation out loud, I can hit play. 5x squared, squared plus 3x minus, minus 7, 7 equals, equals zero. 0. Everything works. Picture dictionary, translation. So all of those immersive reader tools are built in this little immersive reader button on the right-hand side that's just built right in to OneNote. That's incredible. I... I'm so excited about this for students everywhere. Yes. The last thing we're going to show in our demos is the Edge browser, which is built into Windows 10, although it's also starting to get ready to roll out into Mac and iPad. But the Edge browser in Windows 10, any web page, including our good friend Wikipedia, I can double click here and I'm going to right click on any word or line and say read aloud and it's going to read it out loud. The Coliseum could hold an estimated 50,000 to 80,000 spectators during phases of its various renovations over... And it's built in on any web page. Anywhere you want to do it, it's right there. No add-ins, it's just part of the browser and it's built in and it's free part of Windows 10. That's fantastic. So what we're going to do now is we're going to switch right into just a couple of slides. So Immersive Reader has also just rolled out to Minecraft Education making any sign, any text available and inclusive in Minecraft. That's incredible because I've seen Minecraft really change the way students can be immersed in learning and do incredible things. But again, when you have those students that are struggling with reading or they're emerging readers, now, there it yeah. is. They you can translate the even. We've had a lot of students that couldn't read the text. You can point your cursor at anything in Minecraft and hit the letter I and the immersive reader pops wow. out. That's the incredible. The other big one is Microsoft Forms. So formative assessment. Having, instead of a lot of educators will have to sit next to students and read out loud maybe the comprehension questions, yes. all of this is now 
free and accessible in the immersive reader. And that's rolling out very soon. It's probably already rolled out at this point. And then the other thing is just some feedback, right? Feedback yeah. from educators. And this is a really powerful message I got from Jennifer in Argentina. Yeah, she's one of our amazing MIE experts. We have thousands of them everywhere. And they're constantly sending us feedback on how Immersive Reader has dramatically changed the lives of their students. And yeah. Made and a it, huge difference. And as a parent, you see here, the parents feel that yeah. impact in a positive way too. The last couple of things to let you know. So the Immersive Reader is now way beyond Microsoft apps. We heard from all sorts of partners. Here's an example, ThingLink, EdTech partners that wanted to integrate the Immersive Reader. So we've recently made it available to any EdTech app or publisher or iPad app, Android website. You can just see some here that are already integrating the Immersive Reader into their tool set. So making it available to anyone. So if you have a favorite app or EdTech provider out there and you say, gosh, I wish they integrated the Immersive Reader into my tool, there is a way. And this link here is share this. Tell your favorite ed tech app or publisher, I'd like to integrate this immersive reader. It's typically less than one day of work to integrate. It's really easy. So making that available at literacy worldwide scale. So learning management systems could integrate yep. it. Yeah, power uh, You could have, yeah. I think, online textbooks could integrate it. Mm -hmm. Any kind of online tool that you have out there, they could integrate this. That's incredible. Yeah, it's it's uh, we're trying to make this available for the whole world. And lastly, this is kind of a fun slide we like to talk, call the periodic table, but this shows, at least for Microsoft apps, all the places and features where the immersive reader is, and it's actually growing. We haven't even updated it yet for Minecraft and Forms because I haven't had time to integrate it yet, but it's yeah. coming to really show that breadth yeah, across. Like, it's amazing how fast this has been rolling out to app after app after app. And I, this is why Mike and I wanted to spend this time putting this demo together for you just so you can see the power. Thanks for watching. To access everything you saw here today and more, check out our Immersive Reader one-stop resource on the Microsoft Educator community. Yeah, it's got some great links, including the video that you just saw here, the full demo. It also has a full inclusive classroom webinar that I led that goes deep into reading, writing, math, and communication. So that's a great one if you wanna learn even more about our inclusive platform. And then it also has all the research that's gone into the Immersive Reader. So we've cited all the different pieces of research for some of those different capabilities. So it's a great resource. Yeah, so get started. Use this URL that's showing up right here and start empowering your students today.